Welcome to this edition of Whole Nation. I am your host, Rich Pyle, and I'm going to take you on a slick side down ride to everything in this world that is cornhole. And on this week's episode, Stacey O'Brien faces possibly the toughest match she's ever faced in cornhole and lets us know if size really does matter. We get to know a little more from our ACO players in Get to Know. We sit down with Jay Boogie, find out what he's got going on in his life right now in Cornstalk and pitchers from all around the country. Why don't you say we get right to it? What you've been waiting for, this is the new episode of Whole Nation. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. some more cornhole. Let's go find out who we can challenge. Follow me. Uh, I think I got it. I think it. Hey, Stacy, what's happening? Not much. Let's see what Sean O'Brien can do over here. Can you keep him on the bar? Can you put him in the hole? Or right. is he going to throw off the off Are, are you better than Sean? No, you know, I'm SOB2. He's SOB1. Hey. See, but you're feeling pretty good about your game, though, huh? I am. I am. Well, then I think I want to challenge you to a game of cornhole. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm against you. What do you think? What, what do we got going with that? What do you mean? I don't know. Is that for fun? We got money on the well, line? I'll what tell you what. Here, we'll, if, you, if you win, if you win... <laughs> I'll give you a free Whole Nation t-shirt, all right? If okay. I win, you got to go on camera in front of everybody in the world and tell them I, Rich Pyle, just kicked your butt in court. Oh, dang. I know. That might be really possible. That's, I'm not going to lie. That's a lot of pride right there. That is a lot, a lot of, pride. of pride. You in? Sure, why not? I'll take my loss with a good win. All right. You, which board do you want to play on? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can't play. There's everybody's on board. What are you going to do? Inter- well, I'll the tell game? you what. Nah, come on over to the oh, corner dang. with me. Let's come go. Come on. All right. All right, here we go. My custom set of boards. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> four, bag, or four bags, right? You throw four bags twice. You throw a set of four, I throw the set of four. The, the total points after two rounds, right? So you'll throw eight bags. Okay. Wins. All right. You in for this? <laughs> All right, ready? You ready? Concentrate, man. This is oh, this is Lord. a lot on the line right now. Oh, got shot. Oh. There you go. Nice. <laughs> nice shot. I love it. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what is oh. this? I don't know. What is it? I tell you oh, what it is. Hey, these bags are ready. Yes, yes. Oh, oh this game. Is, I, per- I picked the perfect person for this. Hey, can you pick those bags up for me? I'm sorry. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Watch. Jump Watch and learn. Uh, that don't count. That don't count. It bounce. It bounce. It's my you, game. You I can. can, I, can I, I don't care if it's your game. Right. You can't change the rules. What do you think you're doing? All right, you got me. You got me. All right, ready? I don't need that one. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh shit! Man. I almost knocked it off. Oh. oh. Right, so I got two. You got. What do you got? The big goose egg. I got a big goose egg. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Or don't have. There you go. Oh, thank God. I thought that was going <laughs> Oh, shoo. Oh, you better put these next two on or I win. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. I got to tell you what's going on here. I got to tell you what's going on. If I'm a you little scared. If you don't put this in the hole right I know, now, you win. I win the game. I know. What do you got to do here? In I the hole. Put it in the in hole. In the hole where the game's over. My bad. I won't say a word. Look out! <laughs> yeah, that was the easiest game I think I've ever oh. played. In my life. <laughs> His whole two points. <laughs> two points, that's all I needed. How many did you have? So Rich Pyle totally just beat me in a game of cornhole, and I didn't score a single point. But he did sucker me into these little tiny bags. But it's okay, I lost. I'll get him back.
Welcome to Whole Nation. I'm your host, Rich Pyle. This is a segment where we like to show you the people that make up the ACO and its family. So continue watching as we show you how to get to know your ACO family. My name is Heather Barks and I live in Northeast Arkansas, a little sawmill town, about 40 minutes from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I've been playing cornhole uh, one day and my husband plays, so I've watched a lot of it. And we play in a really small place and I play with the kids and the families all know each other. And one snowy day I thought, there was less people there. They weren't going to make fun of me. Thought I'd try it. I, I wasn't any Joe Namath or anything, but I don't think he played cornhole very well e either. Anyway, um, ACO, like I said, one day. <laughs> um, 870, I'm going to guess if I'm in a group, that would be what it is. And this is a crazy way to learn to play. Um, but I bit the bullet. I've been too scared, which is crazy because if I was singing karaoke, I would tie my shirt in a knot like a three-year-old and be like, hello. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be better. And um, everybody starts somewhere. And that's the cool thing about ACO. Everybody's encouraging. Nobody's like, that girl sucks. They're like, there you go, there you go, that's better. But the superpower. And I didn't just ADD that out of my head. I was told to, to tell you if I had a superpower, what would it be? And uh, it would be for everybody to be happy all the time. I'm Riley Dennis. I'm from Grayson County, Kentucky. I've been playing cornhole for about six months. This here is my first ACO tournament. My uncles, Damon Dennis and Ricky Dennis have encouraged me to play cornhole. One of them's third in the seniors right now, and the other one is top three in the U.S. And if I had a superpower, I would want to be invisible. Hi, my name is Stacy O'Brien. I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee. I've been playing cornhole for four years. I've been part of the ACO for about two years. I play with Mickey Board's Cornhole Group. And if I actually had a superpower, it would be to make cancer disappear. Welcome to Whole Nation. I'm your host, Rich Pyle. Today in Whole Nation Studios, we have the southern voice of commentating cornhole, Jay Boogie. That Jay. is I. So welcome to Whole Nation. Good to see you, brother. How's JB, everything going, man? JB double O G to the O to the I. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, oh you, you misspelled your own name. I'm done. I'll see you guys later. I'm not, I can't follow that up. You want to do it again? Ready? Show me, tell me again. JB double O G to the I to the E. Got it that time. There you go. There, there you is. go. All right. <laughs> I got nervous, man. The goatee it, it is happens. intimidating. It happens. It's very intimidating. I get it. You should see in the morning when I try to get ready. Oh, oh yeah. it's a struggle. It's a beast. Which is something I wanted to talk about uh, with you. You have opened up a barbershop, right? Yes, sir, I have. Is this the first business that you've opened up? It is the first business that I've opened up myself on my own. Um, I've been cutting hair in the barber industry for 10 years now. 10 years you've been Ten cutting years. hair? Yes, sir. What other kind of services do you to provide at your at your shop. Well, you call it a shop, barber shop. Yeah, yeah barber shop, right barber shop. Classic men's barber shop. Um, there's a lot of salons and stuff out there, but right. I'm I'm strictly the, the old school barber shop. I do the straight shaves, the uh, you know any kind of fade, any kind of style that the guys are getting. I can't braid. I can't do your. I can't do the style oh, like that. It then. This, uh, this interview's over. Right? It's done. You know what? I thought I do. We gotta get a get a free shave and braid out of this whole thing. Hey, but I got two guarantees at my shop. <laughs> One, you're going to look great, and two, your hair is going to be shorter. And you don't want to get that beard shorter. So. 
So how did uh, you get into uh, cutting hair and, and shaving and, and being a barber? When I was getting out of high school, I didn't know uh, what I wanted to do. All I knew was I was having fun and cutting up, and my brother said, hey, you gotta figure something out. And, uh, and he's a barber. So he said, um, you know, let's go up here and check the school out, check the college out, see if you like it. I did, started cutting hair, came natural. Of course, I like to talk to everybody, so that came super natural. Yeah. 10 years later, here we are, finally reached the goal and, and uh, opened up my own shop. And what's the name of the shop? It is Boogie's Barbershop. Boogie's yep. Barbershop. Yep. Kind of just rolls off the tongue. It, it just happened that way. Yep, yep. Boogie's has just been a long time nickname of mine, and it, it's helped me out here in the ACO. And it's, it's, How uh, did you get that name? That nickname? Uh, well, I was, uh, I got a little extra rhythm in these bones that not a lot of people have ever seen. <laughs> I spent a lot of time on some uh, stages and doing a lot of shows when I was younger, you know. Dancing? Dancing, theater, singing, all kinds of stuff like that. I used no to, kidding. Yep, yep. And they, uh, they just said, man, you, you can dance and sing. That's Jay Boogie right there. So it kind of stuck. It kind of stuck. You yep. can sing too, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Sometimes. What kind of music do you like to sing if you had a genre? If I had a genre, you know it's going to be country. Country? Of course. Yep, yep. I can't get Get rid of the twain. No? So if somebody wanted to, to get a hold of you to get yes. a cut or a shave or or whatever, how would they get a hold of you? All you got to do is go to the book face, go to facebook.com of course, type in Boogie's Barbershop in Butner, North Carolina, and you're going to see my logo right there. Bingo, bingo. As I like to say on the mic, and uh, you'll find me. The number's on the back, 919-500-9044. You call me for an appointment, you call me for a beard trim, whatever you need, I'll take care of it. And if you mention whole nation, you get 10% off. Look at that, <laughs> look at that. Check it out, absolutely, absolutely. So how did you get involved with Cornhole? Oh man. Um, well, I'm from Durham, North Carolina, okay. uh, where uh, Duke, uh, Duke's located, Duke University, mm -hmm. and I always go to the football games, even though we suck, we are trash in football, <laughs> I know, but we do got a football team. I wasn't going to call you out. And us loyal fans, you know, we go to the games and we tailgate, and uh, I went with my brother and the guy that owned the shop that I was working with at the time, and uh, they introduced me to the game, and the rules are, I got to throw this bag on the board. That's it. I'm going to be good at this. I knew I, knew I was going to be good at this. So I jumped on it about 10 years ago at the tailgate and uh, started playing more and more. And uh, Mr. Chris Clark, everybody knows Mr. Chris Clark. Yeah. He runs all these uh, big things. He's a huge hand. He used to come in our barber shop that I worked at. And uh, the guy Jack that owned the shop said, you know, Chris is big into like the pro leagues and stuff like that. And so it just took off. And you realized there. you weren't as good as you thought you were. Exactly. As soon as I went to the first tournament, I said, okay, I got a little bit of work to do. Yeah. Chris said, how far apart do you throw? And I said, 27 feet. It's okay. He patted me on the back. He said, I'll see you Sunday. I got to practicing after that. I took my two losses. I went home and I started throwing immediately. <laughs> now, how did you get involved in commentating for the ACO? Because everybody knows you. I know you more as a commentator than a player. Right. Right. And, and I think most people do know, know you more right. as the commentator, right? Which hurts right? my pride a little bit, I mean, but that's it okay. You know. so much. I mean, that just means you're that much better <laughs> at the commentating, right? That's right. That's um, right. And you got you got your own style, I think. You stand out a little bit because of your own style, not yep. just your own style um, of, of speech. So you got the North Carolina accent, but you yep. got your your own little you know twist yeah. and you know attitude that you come across yeah. with, which 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 is what everybody knows you as. Yeah, I think so. You don't that that side of it doesn't come out on the boards, right? It only right. comes up across right. the mic. I try to stay a little more focused on the boards because if I can start cutting up and, and this stuff on the boards, I get a little lost. So I try to stay focused. Um, but yeah. When it comes to the microphone, um, I always grew up a wrestling fan. You know, still am. Huge wrestling fan. And uh, yeah. you, you talk about guys like Jr. You know, uh, the, the King, Jerry the King, Law that it always would would liven up. You know, the match, whether yeah. it be a boring match or it be, you know, just the greatest thing you've ever seen. You got to make it sound like it's the greatest thing mm -hmm. you ever seen. I mean, you talk about the analogies. You know bringing different things in like other sports and things that people can relate to a lot of a lot of people out there that don't know cornhole as well as we do that right. are, that are always that you want to grab their attention you know so i kind of really keep them in mind 
I like to talk to the people out there on the book face that everybody, you know, everybody likes when I say book face. I, like, I love to talk to everybody out there that are chiming in and making comments because it, it gets it gets everybody involved. Right. And it, it makes it makes the whole thing better. And uh, I have a blast doing it. I really do. Well, I'm proud of you. I, I'm, I'm proud to see, you know, our ACO family grow and how they grow in their lives outside of the, the tournaments that we get to see each other at. Yeah. But I love to see the growth outside of it. And I'm yeah. proud of you. And I wish you nothing but the best, buddy. Thank you, man. You're the man. Thanks, Will. You, you are the best. Join in the Sun Hole Nation today, buddy. Not a problem. I love you. Had a blast. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Hole Nation. We're going to wrap this up with some pictures from around the country. Keep watching. It could be a picture of you. I'm your host, Rich Pyle, reminding you that whether it's slick or sticky side down, you got to bring it. Thank <laughs> you.